aortic regurgitation is a condition where the aortic valve fails to close completely after the blood is ejected out of the left ventricle you can see there in the diagram the picture shown above indicates that when the blood is going forward in the aorta at the end of the left ventricular systole the aortic valve is completely closed so that it prevents the blood from coming back into the left ventricle whereas in the diagram shown below you can see that the aortic valve is not closing properly and the blood leaks back into the ventricle so this recurrent leak leads on to a huge left ventricular load in addition to the blood which comes into the left ventricle through the left atrium and leads on to the hemodynamic changes now as i told you it is a situation where the left ventricle is loaded with volume of blood therefore the pulse will be of high volume which can be collapsing or bisphyrian's nature collapsing is the nature of the pulse is a, is a phenomenon where when the radial pulse is lifted as described in most of the books you can perceive a rapid upstroke followed by a rapid downstroke and bisphyrian's pulse is a double peaking pulse and due to increase in the volume the pulse pressure as reflected by the bp is also wide jvp is rarely elevated because the left ventricular accommodates well for the increase in the volume and it can be elevated only when the heart fails terminally the apical impulse is shifted down and out due to the dilatation of the left ventricle pulsation can be um, seen over the first or the second aortic region because it is a condition where the large volume of blood transfers across the aorta parasternal heave is not present the type of apex you appreciate is the hyperdynamic apex palpable sounds are not felt and you can occasionally feel a diastolic thrill in the aortic area now what dominates the clinical feature of severe aortic regurgitation is the peripheral signs one i have already told you is the collapsing pulse which is the rapid upstroke followed by a rapid downstroke of radial pulse hill sign which is an apparent increase in the lower limb systolic bp of at least 20 mm hg more than the upper limb bp it is an indicator of severity which will be discussed later and you can also see pulsations of the carotid and the brachial which is very marked which is called the dancing carotid so the corrigan sign and locomotor brachii capillary pulsation on the nail bed of the hands is called the quinky sign and you can also hear a snappy sound resembling a pistol shot heard over the femoral artery which is called the pistol shot femoral so the drop sign durosius sign is the systolic murmur heard over the femoral artery with the bell of the stethoscope when the artery is compressed proximal to the bell now there are many other signs which has been described in severe aortic regurgitation but these are the common peripheral signs which we witness in clinical practice the murmur of aortic regurgitation is the early diastolic murmur which starts after is two as you can see the intensity progressively decreases after the initial part of race 2 it gives a decrescendo pattern for the murmur it is a difficult to hear murmur and the duration of the murmur is variable and the longer the murmur you hear after race 2 it indicates more severe as the ar murmur is conducted to the left lower sternal margin A2 intensity is variable because when it is associated with a significant AS it may not be audible it can be normal sometimes it can be loud when it is an isolated occurrence of aortic regurgitation which is chronic severity of aortic stenosis is decided based on a hill sign which is more than 60 mm hg the difference between the upper limb and the lower limb bp marked peripheral signs uh, apex which is shifted down and out and long duration of early diastolic murmur